Welcome everyone, you might be in a situation when you try and like, you know, register your finger, either you see unable to activate uh, Touch ID or unable to use the home button, right, which is even worse. And in this video, I want to explain why on earth this happens and what you can do to, you know, get it sorted, right? So first of all, um, unfortunately, Apple are anti-repair. And the reason why this happens, there, there are two reasons. Let's go through the first one. The first one is you bought your phone used from eBay, from Amazon, from Craigslist, right? Any used store. I don't know why I laughed when I said Amazon, but I mean, yeah, it'd, be, it'd be really shocking if you bought a phone from Amazon and it came with this defect, but it has happened to me before. Um, or even worse, they never delivered the phone once and they stole, you know, 120 quid. Very casual. Anyway, um, you buy your phone and the seller did something with the home button. What did he do? He replaced it, right? And the problem with replacing the home button is the original home button coming with the phone is linked to your iPhone, right? And if you use a replacement, Apple software intentionally blocks you from being able to use it. On the iPhone 6S and 6, 5S as well, what it means is, and the SE, um, you can press the home button still, but you can't add a touch ID. On the newer iPhones, iPhone 7, 8, SE 2020 series, it completely blocks the use of the home button. So that's the reason why it happens, right? The second reason is your home button's broke, right? Broken meaning water damage, broken meaning you drop the phone sometime and the connector ripped. It's broken in some way, right? Sometimes, um, I mean, I've had situations where I thought I did nothing wrong, honestly, and things break. I mean, it's, it's kind of shocking, right? And so let's just go through what can you actually do to get your home button resolved, to get, you know, everything working. So if you used eBay, Amazon, or, you know, any secondhand store, then it, you have to get a refund, right? Craigslist, probably not possible, um, you know, because you probably went in person, bought the phone, but you're screwed then. And you'd probably just have to resell the phone on eBay, or make a loss, almost certainly, um, unless they told you the home model wasn't working and then you wondered why it wasn't working. You, know, you would think that wouldn't be a thing, but trust me, yes, it is. Um, so that, that's that's a possibility. But the second possibility um, is eBay has a 30-day money-back guarantee, which means if you don't like the colour of a dress and you used it for 29 days, you are entitled to a full refund, right? And so if someone scams you on eBay, you would definitely entitled to a full refund and you might think the dress thing I, I said as an example is a joke it's not a joke i've spoken to sellers and they've said the exact same thing as i've said right i'm taking an example from a seller's experience someone returned the dress and they won the case because they didn't like the color and they had used it for 29 days i mean um you know talk about wedding uh, dresses for free okay anyway um you can get a refund right same with amazon um same process okay but let's talk about well if you didn't do you know buying the phone used it said you bought it new right and the solution is do you have warranty right you can check warranty um by just going okay this face id system isn't working but what you can do is you can go to settings and just find general about and usually it will say on the new ios firmware whether or not you have warranty or whether or not the warranty is expired it seems like on iOS 12 it doesn't say, but you can just contact Apple Support, right? And there's an app in the App Store called Apple Support. Download that, speak to Apple, and they will almost certainly take your phone into repair and give you a free replacement a home button because third-party sellers can't fix the home button issue. They can't bind it to the phone. However, Apple can. That's why um, they did the same with the battery. They did the same with the display. And now they've done the same with the camera because they earn more money. You go for Apple, um, you know, you don't need to worry about those messages anymore. And you get full functionality. It's really uh, convenient, right? And so that's the only steps you can take in order to fix the uh, unable to activate touch ID on this iPhone, right? If it's new, you contact Apple. And if, if your phone's too old and you can't use warranty, then unfortunately, tough luck. You probably just want to sell the phone and upgrade, right? Now is a good time to upgrade. And um, if you have a used phone, just get a refund. If you can't get a refund, you're going to have to sell for probably a loss and just buy um, a new used handset. So 
Hope this video helped you out. If it did, smash like. See you guys later. Bye bye.